Hindus are happy. If you have found something that brings you peace and joy and contentment, then that's good. This came up as a frequently asked question on Google searches. How do Hindus feel about other religions? If you're used to the Judeo-Christian model, the Hindu model is extremely different. You know, in the Judeo-Christian Islamic model, there is one way to approach God, and if you don't do it right, you don't get the right answer, you're punished for all eternity, and you'll burn in hell forever. And Hinduism is not like that at all. Hindus love other religions. Hindus are happy. If you have found something that brings you peace and joy and contentment, then that's good. That's the right path for you. Awesome. If you're Christian, great. If you're Muslim, great. If you're Buddhist, great. If you're New Agey, great. If you're spiritual but not religious, great. If you're agnostic, great. If you're atheist, great. Anything at all. As long as it is bringing you closer to God and you can tell by assessing within yourself, am I feeling joy, contentment, and peace with my path. If you're experiencing fear, shame, guilt, anger, then this path is not working for you. Religion should not have any of those things. So yeah, Hindus love other religions, perfectly happy to have you practice your own religion. The only thing that we ask in return is that that respect is given back to us. We ask that we are not coerced into leaving Hinduism with tricks, lies, bribes. I think it's extremely unethical the way that proselytizing works. Um, especially in India, the missionaries there do vile things to trick Hindus into accepting Jesus Christ. And you know, it's not an ends justify the means. It's absolutely unacceptable to use lies, tricks, and deceit. If your God is so powerful, he should not need those things. So you practice, enjoy your religion, let it bring you that peace and that joy. And if somebody is hurting and you share with them, like, this is the thing that makes me happy, okay, maybe they want to try it too. But it is not okay to say, if you don't do this, you will be punished in hell for all eternity. It is not okay to withhold food, water, medical treatment, which is something that missionaries are known for. They will say, um, you cannot have medical treatment until you declare Jesus Christ as your personal savior. You cannot have this food and water until you declare Jesus Christ as your personal savior. I mean, go to Sringeri Mat. They feed thousands of people a day for free without asking first what religion they are. That's how it should be. So sharing your personal experience and saying this is something that helped me, maybe it will help you, that's one thing. But conversion should be done in an ethical manner. It should not involve lies, it should not involve deceit, it should not include threats. Threats of hell, threats of any kind. So the answer to the question is that Hindus are extremely open-minded and accepting of all the paths to God that are out there, all the paths to inner peace, and the only thing that we ask is that we be given that same respect in return. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I hope that you enjoyed it. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. You can look for the little circle with my face in it. Click on that and you will be subscribed. If you click the little bell icon, you can get notifications whenever I post a video. So you can make sure you don't miss out on anything. I've got tons of great videos planned and I'm making sure that they just keep getting better and better.